For the season finale of eBay for Beginners, I thought it would be fun in today's video if I showed you guys how to build a successful eBay store from zero reviews at all. So today I'm going to go over how to get reviews on your eBay store and how to build credibility on the site. The methods that I'm going to teach in today's video help me grow my eBay store from zero reviews to over 250 reviews. So be sure to watch until the end of the video to learn how to get reviews on eBay. So everyone, to start off, I do want to let you guys know that just because you don't have reviews on eBay doesn't mean that you won't get any sales. And this can be proven from the first episode of eBay for Beginners when I ended up selling an iPod Nano 7th generation for $80 on a brand new eBay store with no reviews. Having reviews on an eBay store does increase your conversion rate, but it definitely isn't necessary for actually getting items to sell. So the first way to get more reviews on your eBay store is by utilizing something known as thank you notes. And if you guys don't know what I mean by thank you notes, here is an example of one of mine. Dear valued customer, thank you so much for purchasing an item from my eBay store. I hope that the item is just as you expected. I want to thank you for purchasing an item from the store and supporting my business. I am a younger business owner with a goal of supplying great technology to individuals around the United States. It would mean a lot if you supported our mission by leaving a positive review on my profile. Thank you so much. I hope your item works great. So you're basically going to slip one of these thank you notes in with every single order that you fulfill for your eBay store. Simply asking for a positive review with a relatively personal thank you note will make a huge difference for your business. A lot of times customers don't think to leave reviews unless they have a negative experience, but customers will be way more likely to leave reviews in a positive manner if you just ask for one in a relatively personal thank you note. The next way that I'm going to go over how to get more reviews on eBay is by simply listing way more items. You're not going to get a lot of reviews on your eBay store if you're only selling like five items per week. For example, with my eBay store, I only sell like five to 10 items per week because I sell high ticket electronics. But if you're listing more and selling more, you're going to get more reviews because you're gonna be in front of a larger customer base. So what I want you guys to do is go through some of your old items, start listing those on eBay, and you should even go as far as going to garage sales and sourcing items from AliExpress to resell on your eBay store. First of all, it's gonna make you way more money and second of all, it's going to get you way more reviews on your eBay store. If you can find a way to temporarily sell 50 items per week on eBay, the reviews will start flooding in, especially if you're putting a thank you note in with every order that goes out. In the beginning, that's definitely something that I did. I sourced a lot of stuff from AliExpress to resell on eBay, and I even went as far as going to garage sales, and I bought stuff for like a buck, and I sold it for like $10 on eBay. It also helped me build capital, but it was also important that I got a lot of reviews on my eBay store, because that definitely helped with credibility, because I sell a lot of high ticket electronics, and if I'm selling like an $850 electronic, a lot of people are going to be afraid of getting scared. And having a lot of positive reviews on your eBay profile will definitely help people feel better about buying an item from you. The next and final suggestion I have for you guys in terms of getting more reviews for your eBay store is to give buyers of your items reviews on their eBay profile as well. If you give positive feedback to someone who bought an item from you, they will start thinking about the item that they received. And if they had a good experience with what they ordered, they are going to give you positive feedback. Because if, if they see you on their profile and you left like pleasant transaction, great buyer to work with, they're going to see that and they're going to go to your profile and be like, oh wait, what did I order from them? And then they're going to go over and likely leave a review for you as well. 
Leaving feedback on a buyer's profile will definitely get them to remember the transaction that they had with you. Because a lot of times, even buyers check their feedback on eBay, and if they see someone left a review on their page, they're definitely going to check their page out. At least in my case, I do that all the time. If I order an item from eBay and the seller leaves a review on my profile and I see that, I typically go over to their page and I look at what I ordered from them and then usually I leave a review on their profile as well. So it's definitely important that you're leaving reviews on buyers of your items. So guys, all in all, the last thing I do want to mention is that it's important that you're offering a great service on eBay. You're not going to get any positive reviews if what you're offering isn't good because people will get very annoyed if they have a bad experience and trust me, they will leave negative feedback. So guys, it's important that you don't try to scam anyone or try to get any quick money on eBay because it doesn't help you in the long term with your business because if you have negative reviews on your store and you only have like a 60% happy feedback rating, people aren't going to want to buy it from you and your conversion rate on your items is going to be hurt tremendously and you're not going to be able to sell high ticket items as fast as you would if you actually had some good feedback on your store. Alright everyone, with that all being said, I think that's going to about wrap up today's video. I know today's video was a short one, but I know it had a lot of value packed into it. So if you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to drop a like and also check out more videos on the Financial Wolf channel. Peace.